Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video I want to teach you about percent of change. And in percent of change there is some quantity that changes. For example, we could have something costing $100 at first and then the price changes and let's say that the price changes by 20% and then we need to calculate what's the price in the end after the change. Or we might have 200 students and then there is a change, maybe next year there is 10% less students and we need to calculate um, how many students there are in the end. That's one kind of problem type for percent of change, is where you're given the initial quantity and then how many percent the change is, whether it is an increase or a decrease. And then the other kind of problem you can have is you're given the initial and the final quantities and then you're asked what is the percent of change here? How many percent did it increase or decrease? Like these two here. Okay, and now let me show you how to calculate this. For example, we have something costing $100 and the price increases by 20%. What we do is we calculate 20% of this number. 20% of 100, which is pretty easy, it is $20. So that's how much the price increases, and then we add to get the final price, 120. And now, another one where we have 200 students, and there will be 10% less students, maybe next year or something. We calculate 10% of this, which is easy, you just take the 10th part, it is 20 students. And that's by how much it will decrease, so we subtract 200 minus 20, and get 180 students. Now here it is a little different. We need to think what is the percent here and to find that first find out by how much it actually decreased or increased. Here a price is $10 and it decreases by $2, right? And so now we think $2. How much is $2 of $10? Two dollars would be two tenths of the ten dollars, two tenth parts, which is the same as twenty percent, right? So the decrease is twenty percent. You can now check, double check your thinking that okay, what's twenty percent of ten dollars? Okay, it is two dollars, and then ten minus two is eight. Okay, and I'm sorry, I need to put here in minus twenty percent because the price is decreasing, the change is negative. And here if we have an area of something and it increases, first think how, by how many square meters it increased. The actual change in the quantity itself is 200 square meters. And now, what part is this change, change of the original? You can see the change is exactly half of that, right? So that means 50% change, a 50% increase. As a formula, we give it like this. To find the percent of change, first think of the difference between the original and the final quantity, quantities. And then divide that by the original quantity. This gives you a fraction, of course, you know? A number divided by a number, it's a fraction. And then change that fraction into a decimal number, either by dividing with a calculator or dividing with a long division, you get a decimal number and then just write the decimal as a percent and then that's it. So the formula is very simple. Remember, you need to look at the difference in the quantities. This is the differences, these ones here, and divide that by the original. Let's look at some examples now. Okay, let's say that these are sales numbers. One month a store sold 160 bikes and the next month they sold 200 bikes. How many percent did the sales increase? We look at the difference in the quantities by how many bikes it increased. The increase is 40 bikes, right? And then we divide it by the original, which is this one, 160. Now here's our fraction. I will now simplify it. You need to simplify the 4 over 16 and then to 1 fourth. And I happen to know that one-fourth as a percent, very easy, is 25%, right? 
So the sales increased by 25%. Now let's say that they sold 200 bikes one month and then the next month they sold 160 bikes. The sales go down. Will the decrease in sales be also 25%? The answer is no. It is not the same as what we calculated here because our base or our reference number here is different, you see? The difference is again 40 bikes, but we compare it to the original and the original here, the reference number is 200 this time. And so this is one-fifth, fraction one-fifth, which as a percent is 20%. So you need to be careful and not just assume things even if the numbers look easy. Here we have kilograms. Let's say somebody loses weight. 64 kilograms and they lose some and now they weigh 60 kilograms. By how many percent did their weight decrease? Look at the difference in these. The actual change in kilograms is 4 kilograms and the original weight is 64 kilograms. You don't need these kilograms actually. You can basically cancel out the kilograms. 4 over 64. Okay, I'll simplify it first to 2 over 32 and then to 1 over 16. 1 16. And now it's time for the calculator or long division. You divide 1 divided by 16. And I did that before the video, so the answer is 0 0.0625, which as a percent is 6. 0.25% here. Now, this is cent, 44 cents to 45 cents. It could be a price of a letter. The letter costs now 44 cents to mail and then it will cost 45 cents to mail. By how many percent is the price increasing? Again, the same thing. Look at the difference. It's only one cent. Divide by the original, 44. And now take your calculator or divide by a long division and we will get this kind of decimal. It's repeating the 2727 two, here. Um, let's round it and also write it as a percent. As a percent, you know, if it was 0 0.02, it would be 2%. Okay? But this will be 2 point and all those as a percent. So it's going to be 2 point and I write it to 27. The increase in price was 2.27%. My last example I chose so as to show you how not to get fooled. Okay? Let's say your price doubles. Will the increase, the percent of increase be 200%? That's how many students would think, right? But if you just think here of our formula, Look at the difference over original. The difference is $40, right? The original is 40. We get our fraction, which is going to be simplified to 1. And then that as a percent is 100%. 100%. There's a 100% price increase means doubling the price. 